Yes. Oh, I'm right here. Right here. <laughs> oh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. If I need anything else, I'll give you a shout. All right. <laughs> Woo. Look what I got. Woo. -hoo. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Buck and Ball. Our favorite tavern, right? Um, Kevin, Jersey Piper here. And I just got my uh, nice, cold, sweating copper mug from Jane over there. So, what are we drinking? Can you guess? Let's see. Let's, let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. She's good, Jane. <laughs> drinking a Moscow mule. Moscow. Something like that. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't rename it, you know, with the whole Russian war thing. Um, you know. <laughs> a mammoth mule. Uh, that's tasty. Well, welcome back to the tavern. What do we got to you? What do we got for you tonight? Let's see how many sentences I can put together. This is only my first one, so I can't blame it on the mule. Can't blame it on the mule. Uh, we got a little bit of an unboxing to do. Yep, I got a new pipe. I got a new pipe, and we're going to put my stuff here on my little sideboard. So I've had this for a while, and I, I haven't had a chance to do my first smoke in it, so we're going to do that tonight. Yes, tonight, tonight. Hot dang tonight. So... Um, Mylon Tobacconist, I was on their email uh, list, newsletter, whatever it is, and so, you know, keep update. So, new, the new things come along, and, uh, and uh, I wanted to get a couple of their tobaccos, which I haven't purchased yet because I'm on a no tobacco purchasing kick, right? Wink, wink. Um, and I have, so these pipes, Got an email, pipes on sale, 25% off. And I always want a, one of these um, shaped pipes. And it's in this, let's see, it's in this long box. <laughs> Do you think you know what it is? It's a Firo. Hmm. I never heard of Firo. It was a new name that I never heard of before. And so I went on, checked out their pipes. They're a pretty decent pipe. Uh, pretty decent price and so I got it and so I needed I needed a church warden so you know on Hobbit's Day but I can't wait till Hobbit's Day to try it for the first time so comes in this nice box off comes the lid off comes the lid <laughs> I should have did a practice run right I guess you can't see nothing back there you see it back there back there with the Buna Hobbin and the uh the frog. So, got a big pipe sock. Mm -hmm. Big pipe sock. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Uh, you ready? Dun, da, 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 da. First, let's have a sip. Everybody, get yourself a frosty mug or something. Mm. All right. Um, here we go. And it's a smooth pipe. I don't have too many smooth pipes. Most of my pipes are rusticated. Look at that. It's got the like double nickel band going on there. Long stem. Long stem. Uh, let's see if we can come up some kind of focus ability here let's bring it on in yeah look at that so it's got some nice drainage going on there kind of a flat matte finish to it i forget what this i guess it's kind of an apple and it also takes a six millimeter filter but, so I put a balsa filter in there. I'm thinking with this long 
stem, you know, probably has plenty of enough time for uh, the smoke to cool down. I didn't even, and I'm not going to clinch it, so I didn't even put a, you know, one of those rubber bits on it. Just hanging out in the Shire. One of my favorite hobbits. <laughs> or, you know, you could be at the Prance and Pony hanging out with some rangers. The Central Park Rangers. Um, so, let me uh, read you some details. Details, details. Let's see. Can you see it back there? Move not back there. Something like that. Um, Fero Pipes. Fero Briar, and they do olive wood as well. This is a briar. Uh, produced at the... Now... There's a bunch of Italian words here, so <laughs> I'm not promising any uh, perfect pronunciation. Heck, I have a problem with English words sometimes. <laughs> Struggle is real. So, Figliai di Federico Rovera Pipe Factory in Varese, Italy, northwest of Milan. The company was established in 1949 by Federico Rovera with the help of his sons and is the second largest pipe manufacturer in Italy. Family-owned business produces pipe brands for well-known names in the trade throughout Europe. However, pipes imported to the USA carry their own brand name, Fero, an acronym for the founder's name, F-E-P-R-O. Um, Central Italian Briar is exclusively, exclusively used in their pipes, um, with the exception of the company's olive wood pipes, of course. So, I'm not talking about olive wood. Burls are harvested from the Tuscany region and must be 50 or more years old to meet the company's standards. Only high-grade extra blocks are selected, which means that even their less expensive pipes carry the heritage of higher-grade briars. Briar blocks are air-dried versus kiln-dried, or oven dried, I don't want none of that. Through this process, though this process is more time consuming, it is said to result in a sweeter and drier smoky pipe. And so um, you could go to their website, Fero Pipes. Also, uh, um, Mylon Tobacconists, they always have some. And they don't just make, uh, they also don't make uh, just uh, church wardens. They, ha they make regular, regular sized pipes. Regular size pipes. Mm -hmm. Mm. They're in they're in their own world down there. Mm. So, I was thinking, what are we gonna smoke in this? I'm thinking Church Warden. I'm thinking Lord of the Rings and Tolkien. So, I'm thinking, but this long stem, I might as well do some kind of aromatic in it, so we are going to do Mirkwood. Uh, by the Country Squire, only comes out in the, I think it's in the fall, it only comes out. I know I get confused with the uh, Sleepy Hollow um, by Strauss, that comes out in the fall. But I thought this was fall as well. I could be wrong, it could be spring. I know it's only one time a year, and Cause you can't have any of that token trademark stuff on here. So I haven't had any of this for a while, so I'm looking forward to it. Woo! Woo! Uh, I don't know if anybody's ever got a chance to try any of this. Very dark, very dark. It's uh, basically an aromatic. I'm not going to say what I smell. I'm not going to say it. We could read it. Um, limited small batch release available in two ounce bags. I think when I... No, it was the other one I think you had. I feel like in something I had to buy four ounces. Oh, maybe that was the Thanksgiving... Uh, Thanksgiving uh, from LJ Peretti. Because um, so, I bought two bags, that's right. 
fine aromatic blend of Burley's, Virginia's, Black Cavendish, and Perique. So I know I, you know, kind of been bad mouthing Perique lately, but this is one of the blends that has Perique in it, and I don't think it's that bad. Maybe because it, you know, it's it's not added in real heavy. Choice leaves are blended, carefully pressed into a generous cake, aged and then hand rubbed. Mirkwood is hearty, full, semi-sweet, and kind to the mouth. Not a gooey, wet aromatic, but a hobbit aromatic. <laughs> and that means comfort. I think I read this before when I originally smoked this. Um, the write-up for this is just so good. I got to read it. Many perilous paths have led you here to the edge of Mirkwood Forest. The old forest road is the one you must take. The way is narrow and dark with trees that are tall and menacing all around. The woodsman told you tales of giant spiders, elves, and ancient fortress built by a necromancer. Fear could overtake you, but you have prepared for this journey. You take out your pipe from your pack, open your pouch filled with delicious pipe weed, an aroma of baking spice, nutmeg, buttercream, and caramel fill your senses. You light your pipe for the long journey through the forest. The plumes of sweet smoke bring peace to the air that is thick with enchantment. Your pipe resounds with the notes of vanilla, almond, coconut, and cane sugar. As night befalls you, your senses get keener as you spot cobwebs in the trees and lurking eyes of yellow and red in the thickets. Just like this forest at nightfall, the mixture you puff now takes on darker tones, notes of dark chocolate deep red wine, tangy cherry, anise, and spiced blackberry have come to the forefront of your sense, rounding out the bowl. You have pressed on for many miles and finally spot the end of the old forest road. You look back upon the path you have trod and feel more courageous, yet sad, because the unexpected journey is now closer to an end. Peering once more into your pouch of tobacco, the thought comes to you, yes, I shall name this fine leaf after the ancient forest I have crossed. Mirkwood is thy name. <laughs> Isn't that a great write-up? It's a shame that uh, the Country Squire's probably got to get rid of that. Because they're going to have to name it something like, you know, Black Forest. I'm sure somebody is be like, that's the name of my cake. You can't use that. Mm. Enough jibber-jabbing. Enough jibber-jabbing. <sighs> Let's stuff the pipe. Oh, yes. Oh. It does smell good. All right. Don't overpack it, kid. Come on. Don't get excited. Oh. The bowl is so smooth, it's slippery. And why don't I don't have all these pipe holding things around? But never when I need one. All right. Put the lid on that. Take her pipe back. Put her Merkwood up there. You can peruse that. It's kind of cool because when they did that, they gave you stickers to put on your jars. I'll miss that. All right. To the lighter. Are you ready? All right. I'm ready. You ready? So weird having a long pipe. The bowl's way over there. I know sometimes with my shorter bowls, I feel like I feel like I'm lighting my nose. All right. I had some technical difficulties. My phone. Uh, I have to check the battery. <laughs> but nonetheless, we have the technology. Wow. Mm. That lit really easy. Oh, Merkwood is so good. This pipe is cool. Who knows? I could be into something, something new with these long pipes. Hmm. 
Uh, wait your whistle time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm ready to order now. I just want some of those uh, chicken fingers with the um, the plain old barbecue sauce. Not nothing real spicy. Just the uh, yeah. That's it. Yep. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I didn't want to have food. I didn't want to have be eaten when I'm talking to you guys, and it's kind of hard to eat chicken fingers and sauce when your your hands, your fingers get dirty. It's messy, you know. Mm. Not bad. So, thanks for stopping by the Buck and Ball Tavern um, and checking out my new pipe. Mm, my new pipe. I never have. Oh, I got so much junk I can't reach it. Uh, oh, here, let's try this. This is from the. Uh, this is from when I went to uh, <laughs> uh, the Union League for the Civil War thing. I took some napkins. <laughs> Does that work? Yeah. Anyway, zooming in never works. Not that I'm zooming in. I'm just trying to get it to focus. <laughs> oh, I had a good run there. I had a relay. Hmm. Yes. So if you get a chance, next time the Country Squire does their Merc wedding, and I hope they still do it, I'm sure it'll be under a different name. Because all their, um, you know, what is it, vanity, fantasy of the South now? So. I'm still calling them all by the, same, the old name, so. I mean, I have my own blend, Weathertop, that I did, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change that name. What are you gonna do? Sue me? <laughs> I ain't got nothing. <laughs> they might want to take my fancy church warden pipe, though. Hmm. Yes. So, you guys have a good night. Um, I'm gonna finish my mule here keep working on my fero pipe filled up with mirkwood and then i got my chicken fingers coming <laughs> so if you don't mind me if i ski daddle for the uh, the evening's uh provisions arrive mm. On that note, on upcoming events at the Buck and Ball, my new shipment whiskey of whiskey arrived. Mm -hmm. So that came just the other day. Um, we'll be breaking that out. So keep an eye out for whiskey night round two. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Everybody talked about church wardens, and I like them. Hmm. That's a good blend. All right, guys. Kevin, the Jersey Piper here. Enjoy yourselves out there. Stay safe. And we're going to see you real soon. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Make sure you uh, get a chance to relax, unwind, slow the, the brain down a little bit, and uh, spend some time with your pipe. <laughs> and... A good beverage. <laughs> Cheers, guys. We'll see you. Mm. Very good. Very good.